These lush farming paddies of Sichuan province are some of the few places in China that can feel relatively untouched by the country's rapid modernization. It took us two days to travel into this small town of 30,000 people, sitting atop one of China's most promising new energy sources. And then plenty of asking around to follow the US money trail to its concrete and metal reality. Here we found a team of frackers drilling miles below the surface, deep into Sichuan Basin's rich shale deposits. Weirdly, we had no problem walking straight onto the fracking site cameras rolling, perhaps a sign of how new the industry is. We've chosen not to show this engineer's face. He tells us drilling got off to a rocky start. CNPC, the parent company of PetroChina, plans to drill some 50 shale wells like this one in the area this year. This well is a joint venture with a Texas-based partner with a big name in the industry. Schlumberger, the world's biggest oil and gas field supplier, is pouring millions into this potential boom. But it's clear the company will be operating under a different set of rules in China than in the US. The engineer pauses to shoo away young, carefree boys who are playing around the workers and near these ponds marked with warning signs. That was just the start of the problems we saw. It hasn't taken us very long to find out where fracking has begun to impact local communities here in China. The local farmer behind me here says the most recent rain overflowed from the fracking site just to my left here has flown through this land and straight into her crops. She fears now that they're ruined and that their roots are destroyed. How companies deal with wastewater after fracking is one of the most controversial aspects of the new technique. Here in China, the wastewater sits just feet away from crops. And just down the hill, a tributary of the mighty Yangtze River. And that hints at a much bigger problem with the coming boom, a regulatory vacuum. From when China opened up to the world in the 1970s, it's policy has been grow first, pollute first, clean up later. And this approach to growth um, has had far-reaching effects that I don't think uh, the leadership at that time could have fathomed. Professor Tian worked on the first fracking regulations in Sichuan, but his research was starved of funds and his rules were never adopted. The most immediate problem with coal use in China is, of course, air quality. But with fracking, it's all about the water. Fracking techniques demand an incredible amount of water. And after the fracking, all that wastewater has to go somewhere. From these farmlands here in the Sichuan Basin, I can see one, two, three fracking sites. And it's probably a familiar story to any American community that's already been fracked. First, the frackers come in. Second, they don't put as much money on the table as the locals think that they deserve for their land. And third, mysterious stuff starts turning up in the water. Li Shanjiang and her husband are house-proud grandparents who call this lush farming paddy in Sichuan home. But lately, this fracking well has begun to disturb the peace. 
，那得少少有影响的，我就不敢在这吃了。嗯、呃，狗头呃，说去前年的时候，这狗头这些说那时候常排的有那个污水出来。The China National Petroleum Corporation well claims to be the most productive well in China. We were turned away when we tried to film by two young engineers. 那在我今年时候，说是流进下来的黑的，说一条狗狗的是黑的。这后头那天又过来跟我抽个话呢，话呢到现在又没有跟我说啊，究竟还是吃的吗？吃不得。Even if there were national fracking regulations to protect water, enforcement is a different matter entirely. 往往呢，事情是发生在呢一个地方，但是制定标准呢，往往会是在中央的一些呢，就是政府的更高的层面。The truth is that the local officials are incentivized and rewarded for promoting growth above all. They're not rewarded for promoting environmental protection. The Chinese central government actually has less power. The relative power over economic decisions of provincial governors and mayors and just、uh, what I shouldn't call warlords, but, but economic interests around the country is quite、uh, great. The family insisted on serving us up a fresh-made feast, and it's mouth-watering, all served up under the watchful eye of a familiar face. But it was hard to put aside that nagging thought that the food had just come from these fracked fields just outside. The same story everywhere we went. Again, turned away from this Shell CMPC facility. But the locals we met outside immediately poured out stories of pollution and resentment, as if for the first time. Dozens of locals have been complaining directly to Shell about the quality of their water and how much groundwater is left after the fracking. Yeah, It's not only fracking's impact on the environment that locals are worried about. Fracking also threatens to shatter their legal rights as landowners, as we found out next.